This is Astronomicum Caesarium from 1540. However, this is a facsimile, meaning it is a reproduction that tries to be as faithful as possible to the original in terms of size and colors, even damage that has occurred over time. The reason that we are looking at this book is because it is one of the most famous early examples of Volvelles. So each of these pieces in the original would have been entirely done by hand. This looks like it is a table tracking stars and the astrological signs. A series of amusing transformational scenes, Tricks of Naughty Boys, is a Lothar Megendorfer book, one of the most important figures in the history of movable books. Um, he was active in Germany um, in the late 19th century. The book that I have pulled from the collection was published in 1899. Um, it is in English. His books were produced in Germany as well as in London and New York. It works in the Venetian blind structure, so you have one image where a boy is doing something and you can't quite tell if it's good or bad but when you pull down the tab to see the transformed image you see that he's thrown a ball and broken a window and the shopkeepers running after him something like that so it's very humorous a lot of the images would be very benign today in terms of naughty boys, but it gives you a, some insight into a certain time and place. We have a few other Megendorfers, but the difference is that they are reproductions, um, whereas this is an original from the time period. Guide to North American Wildflowers is an example of a Sean Sheehy artist book. We have number two out of 30. Sean Sheehy, who is a contemporary um, artist, book maker, maker, and paper engineer. Handmade paper, everything hand cut um, and hand constructed. We're very lucky to have an example of one of um, Sean's original books. Um, the other thing that I really like about this field guide is that he's taken a historical content base in terms of you know field guides to flowers that we're all used to but he is also um, inserted an LGBTQ message into it and when you read the descriptions of the flowers at the back you sort of see that there's a political human touch that you wouldn't of course see in a historical field guide to wildflowers so it's both beautiful to look at um, the flowers are very striking as they pop out but there's a lot of meaning inside of the book as well mm -hmm.